Hi Figmates, welcome to Figmatelier. I'm Yanis Mesny, aka Fox. I'm a French product designer and I've been working in this industry for about 10 years. As you can see here, you can find like some of my little experiments that I've done on Figma and uh, there is several of it there. And you can find and duplicate my files directly under the name Figmatelier if you are looking for it. So let's start and see what uh, I've done with uh, my last experiment. Someone on Reddit asked me to make like a walkthrough. So yeah, let's just check that. Okay, so let's analyze a bit this project. So what I've done here, as you can see, there are several layers. There is uh, some particle animation that I have done with After Effects and export it as transparent GIF. And there is also this noisy texture kind of that I animated with also After Effects and export it as transparent GIF. And for the rest of the animation and the illustration, I've done that directly inside Figma and used some plugin. For one plugin that I used was uh, for the house. Use the plugin Spudat to create a bit of perspective here. Yes. And that increase with this parallax effect. For the term of animation, um, I animated different things. Um, I animated first this uh, fox. So I animated the nose, the eyeball, and the tail. I animated also some comets on the background and some leaf, as you have uh, seen, that are falling from the sky in cloud. I animated also here. The light here, you can see. And I animated also the smoke going out of the chimney. Yes. But for the rest of it, let's go directly inside the Figma files. Okay, so let's check a little bit how I build this uh, little animation. As you can see, there is a different uh, a frame here. So just two frames. So we have here the first frame. And the idea is that when I drag this button here, I go to the second frame here. Okay. So for that, I use on drag, navigate, to the second frame, and I use Smart Animate in Easy Out with 300 ms. And then the other side, when I drag this button, same thing, but I navigate to the first frame with Smart Animate Easy in 300 ms. For the illustration here uh, of the house. As I told you, I use the plugin QDAT. So QDAT is this plugin here. Let's check. Let's create a frame like that. I use the plugin QDAT. That is here. And what it does, it just like uh, play with the perspective here and play uh, like that. And apply. And after that, your frame will look like that. Okay. So I use that, we'll delete that. I use that on the wall uh, on, of the front of the house and also on the side with this wall. I use that also for the windows here, the chimney and some part of the roof here and here. And after that, it looks like that. Okay. And when I animate it to the second frame here, I just increase the value we skewed at. Okay. For the fox here, as I told you before, I just animated the nose, the eyeball, and the tail. And for that, I use just an after delay with one milliseconds. And after that, I change to the second variant to two. And I use Smart Animate Easy Out and 1000 MS. And same thing reverse here. But to go to the first state of my, of my uh, client here. 
but with 2000 ms here, not animate. Um, for the, let's check, let's check. Um, for the comet here, um, you cannot see it, it's normal because they are out of the frame, but uh, they are here, okay, and the frame is here. So I, I just animated two comets here and this one. So the other one is here. And on this variant, on the second date, I just put that down here, okay? And on my mainframe here, the only thing that I've done, open it. I think it's in the background here. So they are here. I just rotate the frame just to have a different angle. And I've done that also on the second frame here. You can see I just rotate it. Okay. For the leaf, I use the same process. So the leaf are here. Okay. Are all here. You can see. And on the second state of the variant, they are here. Okay. So to make it uh, fall. So I use the same thing as before. After delay, change to second state with uh, not animate and 4000 ms. And same thing here on the other side. But uh, I just use instant because uh, if I didn't use instant, my little leaf will go up again and that will not look nice. And after that, I just, after that here, I just, where are they? They are in foreground here. Here, I just rotate my frame. So to have a different angle, so they are going from here to here. Okay, so let's check for the clouds. Cloud, same idea of like the leaves. The idea here is that uh, we have two clouds that are going from the frame here to here. Okay. So at the end on the second state, they are yeah, the other side of the frame. And uh, yeah, I just use. After delay, one milliseconds, change to one state, and with uh, 10,000 um, ms here, to make it uh, animate it a bit slowly. And same thing, I use instant, so my cloud are not going back uh, and uh, go through my frame. All the smoke here. What I have done is that uh, I use. Uh, here, different shape, so circles, okay? And uh, here, we have also the same shape. And this one just is a mask of this, uh, of this shape. And what I've done here is that I just use and one, a radial blur that are that is uh, going to this uh, color with a uh, one hundred percent opacity to this color with zero percent, so give this uh, little transparent uh, smoke kind of uh, things. Okay. Um, what else? What else? What else? For the main animation, I will say here. Um, what I've done to create this parallax effect is that we have like a different, uh, we have like a foreground here with um, this uh, tree and the light. And uh, I just moved that to the left, the second frame. So here. Okay. And uh, I have also the middle ground here with the fox on top of the hill and with the house on top of the hill. And I just animated that and it go to the right. 
and for the background with the rest of the hills and the moon here as you can see um, I just animated to the left also and it created uh, this kind of parallax effect for the autofocus what I've done is that I've just uh, used um, Let's check that directly on the house, so on the mid uh, lay layer and the house here. So I have like a layer blur here, but uh, the start is really uh, low. And then when we go on the on frame here, so mid mock, we have this layer blur, but with the value of 10. Okay, so I just increase it. So that's how I play with autofocus and with a layer. I've just uh, tried to, to just play with a blur and and uh, on one frame pretty blurry, on the other frame it's not. And that's how I play with autofocus. And, and yeah, I think uh, that's it. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoy my little walkthrough of my little project, Little Fox with the Moon. If you want, you can duplicate the files on the Figma community and you can also duplicate some other files that I've done lately. You can check that, you will see, you will uh, enjoy it. So don't hesitate to follow me on the Figma community. You can also find my Twitter here and my Instagram. And if you want, you can also find my YouTube channel under the name Figma Atelier. Thank you guys. See you soon.